Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that much difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and as you can see, I've returned to the Night of Long Fangs. The Vampire War just started so I reverted to a previous save and uh, now we're gonna try the other way around. I promised this a few weeks ago, I think it was a few weeks ago, that we would uh, attempt to try the other way. So instead of uh, finding Siana and uh, well first Damien and then Siana and uh, eventually end up in the land of a thousand fables we're gonna try and find Oriana and uh, ask her where to find the unseen elder the the vampire boss uh, so to speak so I'm gonna skip through most of the parts if they're the same but uh, as soon as we come across something we uh, haven't seen before I'll uh, let you guys know oh okay 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 so I just got ambushed by by a fleeter. There we go. This guy is... Uh, yeah, let's go for the vampire oil since we're at it. Kind of not, not forget that. So as you can see, I also uh, am not equipped with uh, Aaron died. Okay. Okay. Let's take it easy, buddy. There we go. So one vampire down. Don't really need to gather the loot since we won't be returning to this safe afterwards. But uh, let's skip through everything. So I've been extremely, uh, well... What are our orders? Oh, hi. I wanted to say I've been extremely selfish and I just went uh, past every fight I could see. So even the fight to protect Damien, I just skipped bar past. Okay. Yeah, that thing is just gonna peel over Garkin. So that's that. And now let's see if we can't enter the communion, I think this place was called. Hello! What the hell are these guys doing? What the hell are these guys doing? They're worshipping the vampires apparently. Uh, so that might actually fit with what Oriana is. Let's see. So I skipped the fights on purpose. I don't know what will happen if we don't defend Damien. Very much so. Now be kind enough to step aside. Chaos in the city. Know what's going on. Naturally, it's rather irritating. Okay, irritating. That's all you have Blood to say. in the streets. That's irritating? I'd probably use a stronger term. Well, you know, I'm getting on in years. Not easily impressed. Takes a bit more to get me worked up. Yeah, I suppose empathy's not something I associate with vampires. Or with I witchers. I did you would guess. Wasn't hard. Not like you tried hard to hide it. Should I have? Well, no. I am a witcher. And thus my foe? That depends entirely on you. There we go. Nice back and forth between these guys, but uh, we need to talk to the Unseen Elder. I don't think she'll be happy with that. Need to uh, see your Unseen. Convince him to stop Deadlove. Heard you could help me with that. <laughs> my, my. It seems my dear Regis needs to be reprimanded. He's become rather indiscreet. And you don't hold it against him. There are ways to commit suicide. A number of bridges you could jump off, for instance. Just want to talk to him. <laughs> talk, lovely. He'll rend your head from your neck, make shreds of you before you can open your mouth. Let me worry about that. Willing to do it or not? Hmm. I too would prefer a city calmed, but to reveal so dear a secret to a witcher. Know what? Come with me. I must tend to a certain matter. Then we'll talk. Oh, come on. Okay, fine, going with you. If I was talking to a human now, I'd say that every moment we delay brings another death. Thing is, doubt that moves you at all. Frankly, not in the least. Yeah, we kind of suspected that, Oriana. 
and that soldier Where is put going? there symbolically. You see, I maintain a kind of shelter just outside Beauclair. O an orphanage, to be precise. I've heard the birds whisper. They claim a terrible thing's happened there. Under the present circumstances, I must treat this seriously. I'm sure you understand. Mm-hmm. Perfectly. Let's go. So, do you care for a bunch of orphans, or is there something else going on right there? La Compassion Orphanage. The Compassion Orphanage. Must cost a small fortune maintaining this place. What can I do? I have a weakness for children. Hopefully Meaning. not their blood. That I... Wait. Smell that. Blood. Okay. I am rather stoked about this. Uh, these few episodes. Oh god. They kill children in this oh, no. DLC. Oh, I was going to say I'm kind of stoked because I like more of this DLC, but this oh, just no! took a grim turn. Oh, there he is, probably. There he is. <laughs> what the hell happened here? Did the vampires attack this orphanage as well? So it's clear she doesn't eat them. What happened? Where's Arno? Speak. <laughs> Oh, the, the, the mon monster will come. Okay. Should we relax him with Axie? Maybe we should. Easy, little man. You're safe now. Is she going to appreciate that? I think she does. Oh, he's actually wounded as well. He has a cut on his uh, chest. I was so scared. So, so scared. Of what? You can tell us. Take your time. I, I w woke up because of the bells. Then the screams. I pulled the quilt over my head so I wouldn't hear. But they were so loud. And something began pounding on the roof. Boom, boom, louder and louder. Then Uncle Arno came and said, Sit quiet, real quiet. Shh, shh, and you'll be all right. The whole son abandoned them, left them, and ran away. Apparently, he did. We shouldn't jump to conclusions, though, but. So, what happened then? What happened then? Bartes, Neve, Mora, and some others. They ran out. My sister Anna and me, we hid right here in the room. But Anna, she began to cry. I covered her mouth, whispered, shh, 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 held her long, till she stopped. You mean to say you... Did you... It. Holy shit, did he just strangle his sister? Okay, um... Arno? Who's this Arno? The Guardian. He ran the orphanage with his wife. For a generous fee. I don't see them. Can't hear or smell them either. They fled. Left the children behind as bait. Uncle Arno told us to be quiet as mice. And the monster wouldn't come. But it did. It came. Think I know enough. As do I. Something killed my children. I'll stay with the boy. He shouldn't be left alone again. You... You track down this scum. Bring me its head and I'll help you with the unseen. Okay then. Uh, the, bo the boy is wounded though. Boys hurt. Wounds need dressing. Not to worry. I'll see to it. You sure? Got a lot of practice. Just need a few minutes to... Go. Okay. Take it easy, Ariana. And Geralt, don't piss her off. I'm gonna suppose she has a... A nice set of claws of her own. So, let's see if I can't find a lead. Fine. See if I can't find a lead. Excellent. Go on. Get to work. So, that little kid just accidentally strangled his little sister. Come, little one. I'll sing to you. Okay. Walls are sleeping midst oh, wow. the trees. Bats all are swaying in. 
That is really cool. But when soul lies anxious, wide awake, fearing all manner of ghouls, hacks, and wraiths. So that's the song that's playing on the title screen right now when you, uh, you're playing Blood and Wine. Oh, shit. So that's really cool. So that's where that song came from. Okay. Smashed against the wall. Skull cracked. Died immediately. Beast killed the children but didn't eat them. Something scare it off? Or grab its attention? So, yeah. This just took a very grim turn. Killing a bunch of kids. Uh, okay, let's take let's take the wine though. Not, not that I care about the loot in this safe file. Maybe I shouldn't loot then. Um, just uh, old habits. Where is his sister then? Because he was hiding right here. Shouldn't her corpse be here as well? Uh, where, where, where? Don't need to loot that. Let's go from uh, child corpse to child corpse. Stomach wall cut open in three places. Damaged organs, arteries. Yeah, th thank you, thank you, Gerald. Um, uh, let's see, anybody else? A lot of toys, obviously. But yeah, these kids didn't chan stand a chance. Their beds are all around the place. Um, okay, next room. A crib. Can loot the crib for some reason. So we're probably gonna have to check everything outside now. Oh wait. We could go up the ladder here. Might find a few things extra. Aside from the loot, because I don't care about the loot. Ooh, what's the hell is this? It's probably downstairs, but I can check it out from over here. Um, yeah, doesn't seem like there's anything here. So let's go back downstairs. There we go. And on the outside, so let's turn around because there's yeah, there's scratch marks on the wall. Claw marks, sharp hooked claws. Monster had an easy time climbing on the roof. Okay. Head, shoulder, and neck wounds. Monster attacked from above. Jumped off the roof, I bet. Okay, and then we have a clear path over here. Oh, Prince. Bipedal beast. Walks hunched over. So, yeah, that sounds like one of the vampires. A fleeter or a... A harken? Harkane? So they jumped over the wall. Oh, and on top of another wounds kid. Smooth-edged. Claws cut through cleanly. Young, thin bones offered little resistance. Yeah, thank you, Geralt, for all the detail you put in your description. And then we have another corpse. Sliced aorta. Fang marks alongside. But they're old. Scarred over. What? Scarred over? Okay, so this was... This one was attacked before, then. Um... Hmm. This... Ooh, what's this? Smells not blood. Need to investigate. So it goes around the corner. And back into paw prints. And over the wall. Let's do the same. Blood simple. Actually missed the title of Gunk. the uh, the quest Is there. That venom? Hmm. There was a list of suspects. Venom glands, long claws, a bloodsucker. Must be a Garcane. Garcane. An alpha. A Garcane's killing's a pleasure. Kids just whet its appetite. Must have gone after the Guardians too. So we have probably the tracks of the wagon. Garcane yeah. and wagon tracks merge. Wonder if the beast caught up. Roach. Yeah, I don't think Roach is reacting to that. So let's turn him around. And let's see what we can find by following the... The tracks. I think they're clear enough for us to follow like this because they made a, a nice track through the dirt. Drove off the road. Horses must have gotten spooked. Okay. Wow, that must have been a bumpy ride. And then down here, must have crashed here. No? Okay, it didn't. 
But we must be getting close to... Ooh. Slow now. Whoa. Uh, we got an op optional objective. Read the entry about the Alpha Garcanes in the bestiary. Let's do that first. Alpha Garcanes. When a vampire gives a witcher a contract to kill another vampire, you can be certain neither of the two is entirely normal. The contract seemed simple enough, though Geralt knew his target was a vampire. Yet one must bear in mind vampires are a very diverse group and their various species differ from one another greatly. The Witcher established the individual he sought had long hooked claws with which it could tear apart a body with ease, leaving behind venom which hindered the clothing of blood. What's more, it could use these claws to scale even the sheer outer wall of a building, giving others the impression it possessed mind-boggling powers. Geralt also realized his opponent was an experienced predator, able to set ambushes for its prey and attack it unexpectedly. Moondust, Samoom, Vampire Oil and Black Blood might not be a bad idea. Um, so yeah, let's keep that in mind. I could already use the Vampire Oil, because I think Black Blood actually has a timer, doesn't it? Yeah, 60 seconds, so let's wait for when we actually find it. And we end up at the river where the cart... Caught up. Yeah. Trail ends here. Need to look around. So where the wagon turned over and the Garcane uh, killed the Ooh, horse. Bad. At least it didn't suffer long. There we have another bit of uh, paw prints. Okay, it seems it's over there. Shredded her, then licked up her blood. Every last drop. Garcane ate its fill here. Probably holed up nearby to digest. So yeah, that's uh -huh. probably where it is. Uh, maybe I should save really quickly. There we go. Let's use Quen. Let's see what this... Oh. He was hanging upside down from the bridge. Hello? How do you like that silver? Wow, that's a lovely creature. And there's the other Arno, probably the other guardian. Oh, hi! Don't you look lovely? Oh, he kind of looks like a frog. A frog vampire. Gonna hang your head from my saddle, bastard! There we go, let's use a bit of Vigny. This guy can jump. Oh, this isn't gonna take long. And goodbye. Collect the trophy. There we go. Because we need to cut off its head to show to Oriana. There we go. A one small cut. And down we go. Lovely head. And let's get back onto Roach and return to Oriana. So see you guys back there in a minute. So back at the Compassion Orphanage, uh, let's take, hey well, we'll just get uh, inside again and talk to Oriana. Let's see what she can uh, tell us. Okay, why do we need to open it like that? Did she? I uh, hope she didn't. Oh, what the fuck? Oh god, she is using the kids as food. Oriana. Release him now. Jesus Christ. Okay. So not that lovely. I thought it would take you longer. For an orphanage. Still not done. Got one more thing to tend to. You. 
the orphanage. Your wine cellar, right? A larder for blood. I never said I helped these children out of the kindness of my heart. You kind of made it out to be. Go outside, little man, and lock the door behind you. Oh, do I really want to fight no, this one? Don't hurt her. Lady Oriana took care of us. She took us off the street, brought us sweets, sang to us. Leave her be. You see, Witcher, the world's not black and white. It's shades of all kinds. I drank from the children, true, but never so much as to kill. And I gave them a great deal in return. Oh, this is gonna be a tough choice. Expect me to thank you. Um. Yeah, let's keep it sarcastic like that. Expect me to thank you for taking such good care of the orphans. You care so much for their well-being. <laughs> Amusing. How do young witches fare? How many survive your trials? Don't change the subject. Not about to let you. Then get to the point. That was close. Did what you asked. Children slaughters the work of a Garcane, one of those summoned by Dedlaf. Probably supposed to attack the city. Children sent lured it here. Yes, it carries quite away. Its sweetness teases the nose, gets the mouth watering. Oh yeah, you're I'm a very so lovely woman. Where will I find him? Talk. His lair lies Quit pro quo. The city across the lake. Look for a cave near the shoreline, and this stone will open a hidden door. Not gonna take me there. I visit the Magic Elder only key. when I absolutely must. You'll know why once you meet him. I uh, hope I can live to tell the tale, though. I'll come back for you one day. You realize that, right? Hmm, then I shall keep an eye out for you. Oh, that was a bit of a tease. Okay, because, yeah, that's not a really good vampire. I kind of assumed since she's uh, a a friend of Regis. Regis. Slip a word to the birds, he said. So, since she's friends with uh, Regis, I kind of assumed that she would be, uh, well, a non-blood drinker as well. But, let's talk to the ravens and tell the birds we're ready to uh, meet. Hello? Little birds? <clears throat> uh, so, I'll be at the boat landing near the palace, waiting for Regis there. Mind telling him? Um, are they flying off? They're not flying off, are they? Oh, there they go. Okay. Tell Regis I said hi. Um, I could go to meet Regis immediately. But first, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, when we get back, we're going to meet Regis at the cave and uh, see about this unseen elder. So uh, if you really enjoyed everything and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. And uh, well, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.